today I'm going to show you how to make a blanket in classic and traditional size. Now you're going to trace either the traditional size or the classic size template on fabric that you want or that you like. And when you have this all the way traced around, you can cut it out and start putting a frame around it. This is what it should look like when it's done being traced. Now these marks are for placement of the ribbon to make to make it look like this. Now this is the underside, so don't worry about the markings. Now, after cutting, it should look like will start to look like a blanket. Now you're going to get some of the trim and go all the way around the edges with it with this glue. Now we're going to add the glue to the trim just a little bit like that and get a toothpick or popsicle stick and put it evenly on the lace. Now when that's done you're going to put half of the side that's glued under the fabric and then fold the other half kinda hard with one hand like this Now when you have it all the way around, you're going to overlap it a little bit when you get over here and then cut it off. And then you're going to start on the lines that go diagonally and in the middle. Now when you have the trim all the way around, you're going to add the middle piece, which is you're just going to glue some of the lace and overlap it on the bottom and then turn it around and glue it down the middle and then overlap it at the bottom again so that it doesn't come off. Then. You can put these on. These are straps that go in front of the, the horse's chest. And then add some Velcro to each side. And you can use a, you can just thread it by hand or use a sewing machine. Now for the ones that go diagonally, 
you're going to do the same thing you did with the middle glue it so that it goes underneath a little bit and use the marks that you did with the template and make them go like that and you're going to do that to this side and cut this make it go underneath and then for this side you want to do the same thing but not cut it and make it go underneath because you need the little extra parts that go under the stomach for the other side you're going to do the same thing go underneath and then when you get about here or the mark that you made with the dot right there you're going to um, make it go like this you're going to fold it like that and then do that for the other side but start at this end and then fold it and then make the same length that you did for this side that goes under the stomach when you did all of the trimming it should look like this this is the part that goes under the stomach and over the chest you should let it dry before it goes on the horse because it could stick and might like fall apart a little but it's very durable when it dries and then you're going to add the velcro for this side you're going to put the the soft velcro because it could scratch up the bottom of the horse and then over here is the hard velcro or the very pointy side and then put it on a horse like this now this is a classic size crisscross crisscrosses underneath and I just have one strap for classics but looks like that and you could add some lettering or these little clips that the real blankets have so there you go in the next video I might show you how to make a halter like this